Hey, Leia! Are you still snoozing away? Wake up, sleepyhead! I've got something super important to tell you, so hurry up and get your eyes open, okay? I'll make it quick, but I need you to answer my phone. Like ASAP! Oh, hey babe. Why are you texting me so late? Is something urgent going on? Yeah, it is. There's something I really need to talk to you about. I've been working on this major business deal with my parents, and we've already taken care of buying all the necessary materials and securing the facility. But here's the thing. We're facing a bit of a storage dilemma. We've got all these items, but nowhere to put them. So I was hoping you could help me find some space to store everything. These items are crucial for our plan to move forward. So I need you to be really careful with them, okay? Oh, sure thing. I'll take a good look and make sure everything is handled with care. Don't you worry about a thing. Thanks, babe. And here's the kicker. These items are pretty big and heavy. So when we bring them into our room, we need to be gentle and cautious. Wait, what? You mean we have to carry all of that up to our room on the third floor? Are you serious? Why don't you ask your friends to lend a hand or hire a professional delivery team? It seems like a lot for just the two of us to handle. No way, Leia. We are not doing anything that crazy. Come on, use your noggin for a sec. If word gets out that I'm preparing for this business affair, it would be a total disaster. I mean, this is super secret. I can't let anyone know about my future plan or else they could just break in and ruin it anytime. You got it? Oh my gosh, really? I'm so sorry. I didn't realize. I can't believe I missed that. My bad. Okay, then when are you planning to move your stuff in? Let me know so I can figure out my schedule and see when I can lend a hand. No worries, Leia. It's not a big deal. We'll get it done quickly. Just moving some things won't take up too much of your time. I promise. Oh, right. I just remembered. Have you had a chance to talk to your mom about this? I mean, she's your mom. So it would be best to discuss it with her too, right? Having her support would be fantastic, don't you think? Seriously? Are you out of your mind? Tell my mom? <laughs> That's a good one. You're my wife, but sometimes it feels like you don't understand a thing about her. She's not exactly the most open-minded person when it comes to my plans and ideas. She tends to dismiss them as stupid and tries to put a stop to them. She sees me as this naive little child who can't do anything on his own. It's frustrating, really. So I've decided not to share anything about my business with her. I'm just tired of dealing with her unreasonable attitude. Gilbert, I think you're totally misunderstanding your mom. She's not trying to block you or hold you back. She's your mom, after all. She just wants to make sure you're safe and not taking unnecessary risks. It's her way of expressing her concern and looking out for you. She cares about you, and that's why she voices her worries. You think she's trying to be an obstacle, but that's just not the case. It's important to have her support, especially for such an important plan. I get what you're saying, Leia, but you don't know her like I do. She has blocked me before, and it feels like she always stands in the way of my plans. It's frustrating and demoralizing. That's why I've made the decision not to share anything with her. I don't want her negativity and skepticism to bring me down. Oh, I understand now. Well, okay then. I'll keep this a secret until everything is settled. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Although I know my mom is going to find out eventually and complain about it all day. But whatever, I'm cool with that as long as you're in the loop. Wow, I can't believe I'm such a crucial part of your project. That's pretty awesome. Absolutely. You're always important to me, Leia. You know that. Aw, you don't have to say that. But it's sweet of you. No, seriously, I mean it. You're always there for me, and I appreciate it. Well, in that case, I'm happy to support you in any way I can. Thanks, babe. Oh, by the way, could you do me a favor and sign these papers for me? They're related to our household bills. They arrived this morning, but I didn't have a chance to give them to you. Oh, really? Sure, I can take care of that. When will you give them to me? How about tomorrow? Can you spare a little bit of your time to sign them? Yeah, sure. Tomorrow works for me. I don't have much work to do, so of course I can find some time. Great. I'll give you the papers tomorrow morning then. 
Thanks for helping out with that. Oh, and by the way, you sound a bit tired. I think you should get some rest now. Okay, thanks for reminding me. Good night, honey. You too, Leia. Sleep well. See you in the morning. Three missed calls, Gilbert? Gilbert, answer me right away! Why are the police in the house? They even want to arrest me? And what's really in these bags you brought into our room? Oh, hey, sorry for not answering earlier. What's going on? Why is it so urgent? Explain to me what's happening right now. I'm freaking out. Where are you? Just come home. I don't know what to do. I wish I could be there with you, but I'm at work right now. Okay, calm down. Let me explain why the police are there. The truth is, I actually called them. Wait, what? You called the police? But why? I just... I don't understand anything. I know this is shocking, and I promise I'll explain everything. But first, please check the bags I brought home a few days ago. You know, the ones I asked you to take care of? Yeah, I remember the bags. What's inside them? Oh my god, please don't tell me it's... Yes, you're thinking exactly what I'm thinking. It's drugs, Leia. I tricked you into bringing these home and singing in the purchase bills. And after that, I called the police to charge you with illegal drug trafficking. <laughs> I'm brilliant, aren't I? And you were just so naive that you agreed with me right away when I told you to sign those papers. What? But why? Why would you do this? What did I do wrong that you have to treat me this way? What did you do? <laughs> That's hilarious. Don't try to act innocent in front of me. I know how two-faced a person you are. I still don't understand anything. Why do you think about me like that? You're being unreasonable, don't you know? Oh yeah? You really don't know? Ah, uh, you're so clueless. Let me tell you this. For the millionth time, I know. I know that you told mom everything about my affairs. I mean, how could you? You just couldn't resist, could you? You had to go blabbing like a little tattletale, just so mom could catch me and ruin all my plans. It's all your fault, you know. You stole my mom. You didn't only ruin my business, you ruined my relationship. She used to always support me, but now she's become more careful whenever I tell her about my future plans. You're the apple of her eyes. She's treating you much, much better than she treats her own son. How dare you do that to me? Now I'm nothing but a useless son in front of her face? You want it to happen, right? Such a crooked wife. Ugh, seriously? That's absurd. Are you jealous? Just because I had the audacity to stay close to your mom, can you make that as an excuse for your evil doings? You think it's perfectly reasonable to throw me into prison? I can't even believe you right now. It's so unfair. You never think about anyone but yourself, do you? With your careless, reckless attitude towards everything, it's no wonder a lot of businesses have failed and crumbled underneath your oh-so-capable hands. I'm just trying to do something, anything, that could actually help you in case you fail miserably, which is highly likely. I've never meant to ruin your life or anything. Why won't you believe me? It's not like what you've always thought. I'll never steal anything from you. Can't you just give me a chance to explain? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I don't want to hear any explanations. Especially from a disgusting person like you. Your words are like nails on a chalkboard. They make my ears bleed. I have no interest in listening to your pathetic attempts at justifying your actions. You're just a slimy, repugnant creature who enjoys causing trouble for others. Oh my gosh. I can't even... I can't believe you could even go to such lengths. Are you for real? Your stubbornness knows no bounds. It's like talking to a brick wall. I can't even... I'm at a loss for words. How could you be that heartless to your own wife? I mean, seriously. We vow to be there for each other through thick and thin. And now look at what you're doing. I'm about to be arrested by the police, all because of your actions. Are you happy now? Does it bring you joy to see your own wife in such distress? Ugh, that's fine. If you hate me that much, if I'm such a burden to you, then fine. I'll leave this horrible place and never look back. Yeah, yeah, go wherever you want. I don't care anymore. Get out of my sight. Do you think I'm scared? Do you think you can just walk away and leave the mess you've caused behind? Drug trafficking is a really serious crime, Leia. Do you even understand the consequences? I don't think you do. 
I don't think you realize that you might not come home safe and sound. <laughs> and for the worst case scenario, you can even end up with a nice, cozy spot in prison. How's that for a reality check? So go ahead, walk away, see where it leads you. But don't come crawling back to me when you realize the gravity of your actions. Ugh, I can't even. I can't believe you could be this ridiculous. Seriously, what happened to you? Don't you know how to behave like a man? You used to be different. You used to be caring and considerate, but now you've changed. You've become nothing more than a rude, stubborn, and self-centered individual. It's like I don't even recognize you anymore. And let me tell you this, Gilbert. Just imagine for a moment. Just one day, your mom finds out about all of this. She'll be devastated, disappointed, and furious. Oh, she'll punish you so hard for your actions, you won't even know what hit you. You think you can get away with everything, but let me tell you, she won't tolerate this kind of behavior. You'll have to face the consequences of your actions, and it won't be pretty. Oh yeah? Do you think so? Well, go on with your complaining and playing the victim game. It's all you ever do, isn't it? Whine and moan about your petty trivial things. I don't have time to waste on your stupid childish dramas. I have more important things to deal with, unlike you. So go ahead, keep blabbering. I'll just tune you out like I always do. Oh my gosh, Leia, what just happened to you? Did you commit drug trafficking? When the police came, I was outside buying some stuff for the family. That's why I didn't know anything. And Gilbert told me you might have to receive an imprisonment sentence. Is it true? That's unbelievable. I'm really worried about you. Oh, Sarah. I'm fine, at least for now. I'm being detained in the police station. They're discussing something about my case, I think. Well, they said the result will be out in about three days. But did you do that thing? When Gilbert told me, I just couldn't believe it. I know you're not that kind of criminal, right? Of course, I'd never do that thing. I swear I didn't commit any crime. I'm innocent. I know it's hard to believe, but I would never get involved in drug trafficking or any illegal activities. It's Gilbert. He lied to me and tricked me into this situation. It's him who ruins my life. He just wants me to get out of his life forever. But why? Oh, Leia, I want to believe you. But it's so shocking to hear these accusations. How could Gilbert even think such things about you? You've always been a responsible and law-abiding person. This doesn't make any sense. You've never made him disappointed just once. And you are the most obedient daughter-in-law I've ever met. You always make me happy and take really good care of me. That's why I always love you just like my own blooded daughter. Why could Gilbert do anything like that to you? I think he's jealous because I'm always close to you and help you in almost everything. He hates that his mom is so close to her daughter-in-law, but not her son. That's why he even made a plan to kick me out of this house. I just don't understand why he could be that jealous and heartless. He doesn't care about me, even just a bit. And now he's so cruel that he wants my life to be doomed. Oh no, it can't be happening. My son couldn't do this. Why does he turn out like this? Oh my god, I'm a bad mother. I couldn't teach my son well, so he could even get this evil. Sarah, please don't blame yourself. You're an amazing mother and you've always been there for Gilbert. Sometimes, people change, it's not necessarily our fault. Maybe there are other factors at play that we're not aware of. It's heartbreaking to see him act this way, but we can't blame ourselves for his choices. I know, Leia. But it's just so hard to accept that my own son could do something like this. I raised him with love and care, and I always tried to instill good values in him. I never thought he would turn against his own family. It's just unbelievable, you know? I understand how you feel. Any mother would feel just like you if you're in your shoes. Ha! Huh. He's got the nerve to do that. Well, let me tell you something, Leia. I won't let anyone not even my son, still live their good life even though they've done a crime. I'll protect you with everything I've got. If Gilbert tries to harm you or cause any trouble, he'll have to answer to me. Really? Well, Leia, I can't promise any miracles, but I'll do my best. I'll talk to him, reason with him, and try to make him see the light. 
But let's be real. If he's not willing to listen or change, then we can't force him. We'll have to let fate take its course. You're right. We can't control other people's choices or actions. All we can do is be there for them and hope they make the right decisions. If Gilbert chooses to come back to us, that would be amazing. And if he doesn't, well, we'll have to accept it and focus on our own happiness. Exactly, Leia. We can't let Gilbert's behavior define our lives. We'll continue to be strong, support each other, and find joy in the moments we share together. We'll face whatever comes our way. And if Gilbert eventually realizes his faults, then great! But if not, we'll keep moving forward and living our best lives. I couldn't have said it better myself, Sarah. We're a team, and together we can overcome anything that comes our way. Your unwavering support and friendship mean everything to me. Let's stay positive, keep our heads held high, and let fate handle the rest. Yeah, we should. Anyway, don't worry. You'll always have me behind you. You'll be released out of there soon, I promise. Until that time, stay calm and positive, okay? Well, Sarah, I think that's the only thing that we could do right now. But are you sure that you will do this thing? What if he has to face his own consequences? Don't you feel bad for him? I do. But letting him face the truth would be much more worthy. I have been spoiling him all these times. So now I have to make him change that kind of stupid behavior and become my son, your husband, again. Leia! Ah, you crooked girl! What did you do to my mom? She's treating me like dirt. Did you say something bad about me to her? I can't believe it. I should have divorced you long, long ago. What's wrong, Gilbert? And could you please stop talking to me with that tone? That's annoying. Oh yeah? Right. I knew it. Sorry for disturbing you at this time, your highness. You're now my mom's pet, so you have the full right to speak against my words. Is that right? No, of course. She likes me because I take care of her well, that's all. It's you who's always trying to disobey her and make her lose face with your helpless projects. But anyway, what do you mean by being angry with me like this? Did something happen? I don't know why, but the police are coming to catch me. Can you believe it? I don't want to be with you, both in prison and at home. Oh, so don't worry. I've just been discharged from prison. Wait, what? What the hell are you talking about? You've been discharged? Are you kidding me? That's unbelievable. My mom couldn't do this. I have evidence of you storing drugs. Oh, yeah, you think so? Actually, Sarah knew for sure that I'm not the kind of person. So she decided to hire a really good lawyer to help me out. I'm at the police station to finish some procedures before being set free in a while. No way. She couldn't do that. Oh, don't you know that all the scenes of you and me talking about the bills were recorded by her secret cameras? Wait, what? Your mom knows all of your illegal doings, but she decided not to tell anyone about that. But then, instead of being grateful to her, you drag her out of your life? What kind of person are you? But I didn't mean it. Yeah, but your actions speak louder than words. That's why she gave the video to the lawyer, and finally, I could prove my innocence. Now you're going to be the one who has to spend all your life there. For fraud and drug trafficking. Oh no, you two can't do this to me. It can't happen like this. I don't deserve to be treated this way. My mom will never do this to me. It must have been you. It's all your fault. Ever since you came into our lives, everything has changed. My mom used to prioritize me, but now it feels like I'm invisible. And I'm pretty sure you've been poisoning her mind against me. Admit it. Gilbert, you're being crazy. Have you gone mad? Don't you know anything else except blaming everyone? That's crooked and selfish. Well, spare me the innocence act. I know you're manipulative. You've always had a way of turning people against me. I'm tired of being treated like the bad guy when all I've ever done is care for my mom. That's ridiculous, Gilbert. I don't manipulate anyone. I can't take your stupid attitude anymore. I'll call the police to proceed with the arrest. Ugh, it's just a waste of my time talking to you like this. You're nothing but a dumbhead, never using your brain to listen. No, you can't do that to me. I'm your husband. No more. Your mom and I filed for an at-fault divorce petition yesterday. We're about to hand it to the court tomorrow. Your life is going down, you know that? What? 
Uh, how dare you do this to me? Are you really kicking me out of this house? I take care of both of you and this is how you pay me? It's unfair to me. And I'll never accept this to happen. I'll make you all pay. Don't think you can get away with this. <laughs> Just go on with your dirty tricks. I'm not afraid of them anymore. You're really good at throwing dirt on others, right? So just do it. Me and your mom will never allow that to happen again. For now, farewell. Have a good time with your new friends in prison. Leia, mark my words. I'll ruin your lives. Both of you. You won't get away with this. I'll make sure of it. You'll regret ever crossing me. Oh, Gilbert, spare me the empty threats. I've heard it all before. You're like a broken record, repeating the same old tune. I'm not scared of your attempts to ruin our lives. In fact, I find it amusing how you think you have that kind of power. We're moving forward, Gilbert, and we won't let your negativity hold us back. You think this is a joke? You think you can just walk away unscathed? Well, you're in for a rude awakening, Leia. I'll make sure you pay for what you've done. You and mom won't know what hit you. Finally, the long arm of the law caught up with Gilbert, and he was arrested by the police for his involvement in fraud and drug trafficking. It didn't take long for him to face the consequences of his illegal activities, as he was charged with imprisonment for his actions. As you can imagine, he made numerous attempts to contact me and Sarah, but we were smart enough to block his number. We didn't want any more toxic influence in our lives. Sarah, however, had her moments of weakness and secretly visited Gilbert in prison from time to time. But let me tell you, those visits only left her feeling disappointed and disheartened. It seemed that being locked up behind bars had only amplified Gilbert's anger and hostility. He became a ticking time bomb, always ready to explode. He even got into fights with his fellow inmates, causing chaos and turmoil in the prison. To be honest, I think that Gilbert's true personality was always lurking beneath the surface. The prison environment simply provided the perfect stage for him to unleash his true colors. It's a sad realization. But at least now we know what we're dealing with. And hey, if that's who he truly is, then so be it. Good for him, I guess. As for me, life has taken a complete turn for the better ever since Gilbert's arrest. I am now living a blissfully happy life with Sarah by my side. She treats me with the same love and care that she would give to her own daughter. It's a beautiful feeling. Finally being able to do things together and experience the joys of a mother-daughter relationship. Without the control and toxicity of Gilbert hanging over us, I can confidently say that I am living the most wonderful life ever. I am free to be myself, to pursue my dreams, and to cherish every moment with Sarah. It's a fresh start, and I couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity to live a life filled with love, happiness, and endless possibilities.